From their very first research experiences at Pitt, um, our introductory biology students get to work hands-on with real data and collect meaningful scientific information. The work in my lab centers on interactions between plants and pollinators. Of late, we've come to realize that the uh, microbiome of plants can be important in mediating that interaction. Undergraduates in the biology department are doing the primary data collection for this work. So the data that they're collecting is directly going into a data set that we're building to better understand that. Basically, we're looking at the microbiome or the microbes and bacterial uh, species within the biome of a flower. And we took a petal and stamped it onto an agar plate and we just had the bacteria grow. And then we were sequencing DNA, which is just something I learned through a textbook, but now I'm actually being able to execute it, which I think is more helpful. As part of the lab course, the students have to come up with their own hypotheses, do their own basic research, right? And I think the thing that I hope most students find exciting is that they're doing experiments that no one else has done before. You get a chance really just to learn that, that science is more than just like books and it's a different level of motivation when you're working for something outside of maybe just a grade that you're actually working for an answer that truly nobody knows. You're looking up to people that are doctors, you know, grads and things like that and the fact you feel like you're being able to help them by, you know, doing research is amazing. So. My research really focuses on understanding the cellular mechanics of how tissues form during development. We're interested primarily in how the central nervous system forms in the embryo. And that's important, uh, I guess, obviously, that if you have defects in that, uh, those can be quite catastrophic. Undergraduate research labs are doing the initial assessments of genes that we think might be involved in this process. The data they're collecting is real data. Right? It's data that I'm going to bring back here to the lab, we're going to analyze, and we're going to follow up on. To come into a lab and identify things that no one has ever seen before is really quite a spectacular feeling. And that's something I want to give to my undergrads when they're here. I hope that the students are getting um, a sense for the excitement of discovery that we share in our lab. And I think that having those first-hand experiences really um, lets you know whether or not it's the right path for you. I think having students start to work on these projects that faculty are involved in really integrates them into the department. Because that's one of the things that we're really trying to do is not just have students do research, but to be members of the research community here. Well, I've learned a lot of like problem solving skills by myself. Uh, so for instance, uh, sometimes you'll get presented with a situation where you don't necessarily know even where to start. Um, and I think a lot of research teaches you that you just have to boil it down to what you do know and you just got to start from there. And whether or not it's a lot of things you find out or you don't figure out anything at all, you're just developing really good habits that you can take with you into the classroom, you know, further on into maybe more deeper research. We are um, an institute that really pushes research and has so many research opportunities to offer. So these research labs are just kind of dipping your toe into the waters of research and then you can kind of go from there and explore your own path because there's so many other opportunities that this is just a taste of the research that it has to offer for us.